front. <laughs> Have you guys uh, seen that t-shirt? <laughs> all right. Um, chapter six. Or no, that was Death to of Annihilation. What am I talking about? This is chapter like 20 something or whatever. Okay, man. All right, Bryn Shander, you guys have done like eight, no, seven, rather, sorry, six of the 10 towns, but the smaller villages. And now you're at Bryn Shander, which, is that, yeah, like the, it's like the capital of um, Icewind Dell. And it's a big town, and you guys, what is the, the main feel of this place was what, grief, despair? Yeah, despair. They've given up. And so you guys have gone around to the different locations. You went to the speaker. You went, you talked to the doors. Well, they've gotten your stuff. Um, the doors seem somewhat hopeful, but they're not, they're, they're not hopeful. They're certainly not hopeful for the men or mankind or humankind. They're, they're, um, or the land, the top dwellers, they're, they're, they're probably relying on their brothers underneath to, to go to escape this winter dread when all, you know, when all else fails. Um, you went to the Wizards Academy, you went to the Druid's Place, and you went to the Forge, which is where you're at right now. With the Wizards Academy, they gave you some, uh, they gave you some information. They were looking for some wizards. The Br Brotherhood of the Arcane Brotherhood or something? Arcane Brotherhood, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they're curious about these wizards who stole one of their tomes and were looking for some lost ancient city. The Zan. Zan is one of the wizards. Yeah. He's the one that stole the tome. Right. Yeah. And then um, you went to the druids. They gave you some healing. They're they're hiding whatever they've got growing. Mm -hmm. The um, the people are dying. They're either you know either they're starving to death. Or they're leaving and supposedly dying out in the frozen waste. The speaker, you guys have heard of um, this place, which is I think where you were planning on heading, or I don't. He's we'll, we'll East Haven or Care Denival? No, 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 no. In Bryn Shander, you were thinking oh. of heading towards the Ice Spire, the old church that's in ruins, uh, where you know there's a frost druid there leading a cult. Yeah. Worshiping Arl, getting gifts. Um, yeah, we were going to go check out Torgs, I think. Torgs, the merchants? The merchants, who, yeah. Okay, so, so try to, if you can remember what any of that, do, and I'll, I'll, re, I'll also inform you of what you learned as well. So, okay. Reese or Markel, if you guys are Azul, and Reese, I, I would say Brother Barona has returned to you from the, the dwarves. So, Barona, okay. you were staying with the dwarves, resting up. You needed your prayers and, and your. You, you know, you're just too stressed out or whatever. You, the, you know, but they, they did a, um, you guys gave the dwarves a lot of meat, so they're happy. So they're, they're doing their little celebrations and pulling out their secret mushroom ale and, and eating the fine meats that, uh, uh, your party gave to them. And you're, you're staying basically in their rooms with the stables or in the, whatever comfortable rooms, um, with the, with the dog sleds and the dogs. But I'm going to say that you, Either they came and got you, or you went to them. But right now, you guys are at the Forges, which is down here. Um, can you see where you're at on the map? Yeah. I'm pulling it up now. Yep. And it's it's a, there's a light snow, but it's not too bad. And, and hmm, Reese, I don't see you on there. Okay, there you are. You keep oh, kind I'm... of popping in and out of the, the little whatever. It's, it's, as long as you're there. Uh, What's the wagon up at the uh, up above us for? Oh, there we are. I see a wagon. Yeah. On, on Reese a or, Re, Azul or Reese, you want to tell them about the wagon that you guys saw cross your path earlier? Yeah, the wagon belongs to a uh, merchant named Torg, or Torgs is the business name. Torg. And Torgs is a, if they're not up front for the these uh, cultists, they have been funneling payments to and from. Um, some of the wealthy people here in town uh, back and forth with the cultants. So they're like the money launderers, I guess, was my impression. Is yeah. that close? Yeah, okay. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. So they're up to no good. So we were going to go uh, check them out, try to infiltrate them, something like that, um, before trying to tackle the entire cult. 
Um, but yeah, that ice spire, that was the, the main hangout for the, what do they call it? The, the fellowship, the gathering, oh, um, well, something like that. The it gathering. Was, it was once called the deep one, Sam Hale church. And then now it's okay. the ice spire. No, the, the group, I mean. The Torg Merchants? No, no, no. The, the, the larger group that, that she kind of just lets them do what they want to do. The speaker kind of just, she doesn't uh, want to spare any. Is it the, the Gathering, the Fellowship? Something weird like that. The, I mean, uh, they, they, they sound like a cult. <laughs> the Gathering, yeah. The I Gathering. The Gathering, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. No, I didn't write that down. All right. Yeah, I don't think it's... Um, <laughs> Fixed. So what's our mission right now? Our objective? What are we? Okay, so that's okay. what we were. We uh, were thinking of uh, infiltrating Torgs after we visit with these dwarves, I guess. Because they were making weapons for well, for they were making um, you your breastplate, and then the app, improving the battle axe. Um, Brazil, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think. Wait, did everyone get improved? Because I think the doc. <laughs> I have was uh, one, one HD times two, right for combat. Yes, you can use you can. Add, that was your gem of enchantment that you, you added to your what your brooch. Yeah, your brooch can do one extra hit die damage for one spell per combat. Now you can do up to two spells that way. That's but I'm confused because cool. you're saying spell, but the brooch is I'm physically hitting. No, 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 like, no. The brooch is just a. It's just a magical item that it gives you more power. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's not a weapon. It's, it's a metal or a pendant or something. And then I'm... Oh, so I get to roll my damage up to two times, right? Yeah, one HD. One, for one... For up per to two, combat. Up to two spells per combat now. Okay. Because you put that gem in, cool. on the brooch, so it made it more powerful. So would I be able to use that plus my empowerment spell still? Because my empowerment spell is a reroll damage up to three. Yeah, you yeah you do that. I should be able to right because yeah, they're two. Okay, yeah, it's two cool. separate things. You know, it's not like I can use it next week anyway. So. Yeah. <sighs> uh huh. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna write that down. So I'm gonna say, uh, just to be mean, uh, Trotter's gonna stay in the forge because he likes it there. With the gnomes, <laughs> and the barbarian is gonna stay there. So it's just you three. Oh, See how that I'm, is mean. That is totally mean. All right. See, I just—it's just too weird <clears throat> having and making them NPCs. <laughs> that way, if you guys all die, then I can reward them for not showing up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, so the other thing is that the gathering, um, you know a couple things. The Frost Druid is gathering up the rich. She's, she's, she's giving them gifts and so buying them off. The, the rich that are left, you know. The speaker told you that maybe there's 50% of the population left. And people are dying and she can't watch them all. You know, she doesn't know who, you know, there's no law enforcement. She, yeah. You know, she barely holds the gates. And she only does yeah. that out of show, nothing else. And you yeah. saw her, she didn't want to do anything about the gathering because it got too powerful. But she's not, and she hinted to you that she wasn't going to do anything if you did anything. So, so Bryn Chanders turned into Portland. So. <laughs> and <laughs> and um, and also the, the the church has been sending out the pilgrims or, or or refugees to get out of Bryn Chander and head south through the mountains. And the druids told you that there there's no way they could get through the mountains. So they're going to their death, or whatever. You know. yeah. They don't know what's happening to those that she's sending off. Right. So there's that. But didn't we? Didn't we, the who? Somebody? Is it the cult that's sending people that direction? Yeah, they they, they uh, That's what I thought. They so gather, they're telling them to go there, knowing probably knowing that they're not gonna get out. Well, yeah. I presume. So, so there's something fishy with all that. But this whole thing is fishy, man. Yeah. 
<laughs> so, like knucklehead who, fishing. <laughs> so, does anyone else need to meet with the doors? Because I met, and you know, I got my empowerment. I don't know if you. I'm Bro. good. Yeah, I just need to pick up my armor from the doors, and I'm good. Oh, I have a, I have oh, a we can... thing at the hammer and shield of the storm. Um, I have uh, like, like about sixty gold, well, I guess seventy-six gold, um, and some trinkets. I don't really have a whole lot to upgrade with, so. <laughs> well. Would we have got a uh, an extra gem for Barona while we were trading with the wizards? I don't really want to give it to him since he wasn't there. Okay, I'm just asking. So. <laughs> not my not my call. Well, I don't blame you. <laughs> what's the, what was the shield and, and armor again? I forgot. <laughs> do you what, do you have the stats on those? Um, you you said they were both quote unquote of the storm, <laughs> and. I didn't catch if it was just the, when he did it, was it just the weapon? But something gives him one extra use of, is it Wrath of the Storm? Yeah. So okay. I had plus one on the hammer, which I guess is above, above and beyond oh, my current. Okay. Oh, you whatever. Okay, cool. Yeah. And I already had a plus four attack bonus with the hammer, so I guess that I have plus five, I guess, you know. And then the shield is plus one. And then I get a one extra Wrath of Storm. That's pretty go. good. Right. Yeah. You don't need no gem of a gem. Okay. Yet. So, um, yeah. Okay, so yeah. So your armor class is what now? 16, 17? Or 19? Oh, I think... What kind of armor was it? Uh, I don't know. That I don't know. Um, Which armor class? The top, middle... I had I have, I started thirteen with thirteen. I think it's like fifteen now. 16, fifteen or sixteen. Sixteen now at least. What the, what kind of armor is in your equipment, Brian? I think just furs. Just have leathers and heavy furs. Okay, so leather armor would give you eleven plus your dexterity modifier, which would be what? Plus what's your dexterity score? I have modified sorry, I have like three different sheets. <laughs> I modified it to 15, so you're saying it's supposed to be 16 now? So you're... What, what's your dex... Well, we're, we're no, no, what's your dexterity? Oh, um, dexterity is uh, nothing. I just nothing. said, I mean, All right, so blank your dexterity. Right, so I think I give you 13 due to leather and furs. Okay. Just because I... Yeah, I think I give it to them that way. So and that would, or, that would include his dex? Or did you have a shield before? Brother, do you remember? Do you have a shield? Yeah, I had a shield. That's why he has. Oh, okay, okay so you're right. That's why you'd have 15 because 13 for the armor plus the two for the shield. So if his shield is a plus one, then the shield will give him an extra point. So that would bring it from a 15 to a 16. No, no, no. Did you have a shield before? You got this magical shield. Yeah, I had a shield. I had a wooden shield before this. Oh, so, so you were 15 before? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So you're 16. So he's a 16. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Alrighty. Um, so yeah, you're. I think the last thing you're gonna do was try to follow the Torg merchants to see where they're based and what they're up to, basically. Like yeah. From last week. So we've picked our stuff up from the dwarves, and we can update our character sheets. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Look Azul here. and I. Okay. I'm gonna have to let you. <laughs> I'm, gonna I, say, uh, I'm gonna say you guys rested there a day, and they they finished your uh, stuff. Okay. Yeah, I updated mine. Let me fix my sheet. Then. You guess full hit points. Brian, you know the full hit points of your character? Total hit points. Um. Uh, and uh, yeah, hold on. It was uh, it was twenty six. I don't know if that changes. I didn't. I didn't make an adjustment to the. Uh, oh, tw it was twenty seven. I'm sorry. It was twenty seven, and I did not make an adjustment after picking up the plus one. After getting the hammer and shield yeah, no, the storm, it's, it's still twenty seven. Yeah. 
Okay. That's your max? Okay. Alrighty, so... I might need, like, a, if, if Ron, if it's okay with you, I might need a special Zoom call with you so I can consolidate these multiple yeah. sheets. So I, I want to consolidate it where it's, uh, you know, I don't, I get confused easily. It's my first time through. That's fine. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. All righty. Um, what do you guys do? Let's say, I'm going to say it's the next morning. You know, you guys, you guys wait, rested in the forge hall with all the gnomes and they're working and they're hammering, put you to sleep, except they all kind of pause and. I'm gonna step outside. Can I see anything and look up in the sky? Do I see anything? Roll your perception. 20. Oh. You see clouds you see everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you see them like swirl with sort of that hurricane look to them and build up, you know, and you see something flying maybe overhead and through the, up above and long way, way, way up yeah, above, right? Uh, okay. Airplane, airplane right. distance um, with the wings and the long tail and then it fades away into the clouds. You know? clouds. It's a UFO. <laughs> They call it. What do they call it now? UAP. So, unidentified aerial phenomenon. But now. Phenomenon. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the new term they use? That's the new term. Apparently. Where have I been living under a rock? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even hear that term. Okay. So, you know, the the norms and. They do their wishes, you know, their own prayers to their gnome thing and hope, you know, do their own little hope hope for Pete, you know, as they get yeah. saved from this. But they all work, 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 we must work. And they're using the fire that you guys sold them, or the wood, rather. Um, and, and they're doing, not only are they burning your, the, you know, getting your stuff done, they're doing the other stuff that they're, you know, trying to use the same wood, trying to take advantage of it. But, uh, <laughs> So the next do they uh, did did we meet one in particular who's like their leader or the head of their clan or something there? Um, I, I never give you a name and I don't have a name. Yeah. So, but you can just we don't them. need a name, but it, it, is there one like a foreman? No. Okay. Not that right. I know. It's just the forge hall or forge masters. Okay. Um, so we head back to the hotel, I think. Oh, you want to go head back to the dwarves, that area? Yeah, yeah, yeah in the in, by the market, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so we can we can plan and plot now that Barone is here. Oh, actually, I'm gonna let you move your characters. And which way do you go? Um, guys, what up the main? Out. So it's gonna... is it it's day, right? Daytime. Yeah. No, 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 no. Um, are you, no. If you're going to stay at the hotel, then it's night. And then you need to travel to your your lodging at the at the Dwarven Conclave. So it's sort of dark and dark and nighttime. I mean, you know, it's not night-night. It's like 6 p.m., uh, but it's still dark. But okay. You, you want to get back to the Conclave? Yes. Okay. So move your characters however you want to. So you're going that way? Yeah. Okay. So... Up to... You up see, the main streets. You see them gathering. You see people there. Uh, lots of people. You're kind of surprised now. Well, you know, like, oh, well, this is where the people are. Um, I the, guess we can blend not, in and yeah, see what's going on. They're not bothering you or anything. Okay. See what they're all gathering for or staring at? Um. Uh I'm sorry if you already mentioned this, but do we have um, 
Frater and uh, uh, the Goliath with us or not? So. No. Uh, for now, but non-combatant. <laughs> okay. Okay, they're just going to stand and watch this. Okay. Right. So there's there's a, a couple of... Wack now, here's the first thing you notice. On the right here, many of these buildings are burnt and rubbled. Right like around here. This The church has also got lots of damage to it. But This uh, isn't the ice spire, is it? Yes, it is. Oh. This is All it. Right. The gap, now, I'm just saying, you guys are feeling the dread here, okay? The the creepy, culty groupings f up ahead. You're not there yet. And th th right now it feels normal to gather in this area. The people, lots of other people are kind of trudging their way to this area, to the church. Okay. Uh, this broken down yeah. uh, building. So you, it's not like you're in any danger at the moment. But, um, and just so you know, let me... Uh, draw this out just so it kind of makes sense what is it what is our objective here guys we're we just trying to this is tail them follow them or we want to mingle in with them um yes i think we'd be less suspicious just mingling like other people in the town although well yeah no, I, 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 don't know. I think it'd be less suspicious than us like sneaking around following them from a distance but uh, you see the you see um uh, roll your perceptions all three of you okay fourteen that was not good yeah fourteen total sixteen total Four. <laughs> I got something in my eye. <laughs> All right. So Verona, you you're used to, um, well, not used to. You're, you know, this is a, you know, not a church. It's sacrilegious or whatever. But it's, it is obviously a gathering of people. They're obviously worshiping something. They're all coming here for something, and you can see the wagons that came. They, they, many of them are. Maybe around the wagons or not, but and then there's brutes around the wagons, and they're keeping people away, and they're unloading what are obviously obvious to you gifts, you know, paying the, the followers and giving them these wrappings, and um, and the, the the followers are taking them and you know kind of shuffling into the and the church itself is in ruin. It's in ruin. It's frozen. There's frozen bits all around it in snow. It's off in the distance. You guys have not uh, gotten close, so. Mm -hmm. But it's just you, you know, just what you can see from where you're at. Azul, you're able to get it. You're able to go invisible. Can you sneak in there and and, and kind of see what's up before we commit ourselves to mingling in with this crowd? Uh, actually, I think that's a good idea. So. Yeah. Then no. Hang on. Reese, you see a, um, um, in this window here, just some really shiny objects that look neat. I'm sorry, um, right I here. just left the page. All right, I see it. Bias? Yeah, there's a, like a window there, crusty with snow, and it's got shiny objects in it, and you're looking at it. Okay, so I could do that. I can go invisible and try and give us yeah some type of advantage or just an idea then come back more. and let us know what you find yeah, yeah so uh ron from here to about here how many steps is that you would say um it's a 30 feet no no 30? no 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 it's not to scale it's like a couple hundred feet okay. yeah and by axe because i wanted to see how far i should go before i turn invisible or would I be fine where I am now? Because I mean, it lasts. That's one hour. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's say that's the scale there. So seventy feet. Okay. 70 feet. Oof. So I'll probably go. Maybe like right up like behind here, and then I'll go in physical, and then I'll oh. go in. Oh, you're gonna go up, go up to there. Now look, this is, uh, the the people are not exactly exactly where they are. Okay, there's there's people mingling everywhere. 
And there's actually two wagons, not just one, just so you know. All right, so I'll go halfway of the seventy here. I'll go invisible, and then I'll make my way, you know. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna, sorry. You're going to go halfway. Okay, yeah. are you trying to be inconspicuous? Roll your stealth. Fourteen. Sixteen total. So that's that's okay. So that's you're, good. You're over here. Now you want to go invisible, right? Yes. Okay, roll it. Invisibility? Oh no, sorry, you're good. I'm sorry. Yeah. Reese and Barona roll again. Perception. What are we rolling? Perception mm -hmm. again. Did you roll a one? Reese Nat one? On your previous one? Yeah, I said I put myself in the eye. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you don't get to roll again, then. Okay. <laughs> Only get down. God, my eye's really uh, <laughs> bothering me, fellas. No, no, it's, yeah, it's that shiny thing in the window there. It looks really neat. Okay. Um, so you rolled a 12. Okay. So 15 total. 15 total. 15 total. Hmm, 15 total. Okay, so you... Um, Arona, now... Azul, you, you, you're you going to go invisible and you're going to go sneak around now, right? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so where do you want to go? So I don't want to cause any chaos with these horses and have them start tripping out. So I'm just going to go around here around the uh, carriage. And don't guys, don't have to go inside of the actual that's the plan, right? To go inside of the actual building? Whatever you're comfortable with doing without being caught. Yeah. The more information, the better, but don't get we caught. Don't get, we don't want to get swept up in this crowd and get dragged up to something we're not ready for. So. Yeah. Well, all right, so I'm going to go, at least before I go to the door, at least by the guards that's by the door, just to see if I could pick up something that they're saying. Okay. That would be a good idea. Do I move myself or you Yeah, it? Move, go ahead and move yourself up a little. Is this the door? By uh, these two guys? Yeah, right there is the door, yeah. Okay, okay cool. stop. So, what? actually, right where you're standing, you can see through the openings of that church because it's, it's kind of Ooh, in, in okay. rubble or whatever. Now, Barona, okay. you, you're like a little vexed because as he's trotting off, as he turned invisible and trotted off, he's making a foot trail and a little bit of sh snow shuffle. But it seems like there's a lot of people there, so maybe they won't notice it. But he's still doing it, just so you know. But it's too far away for you to call him. Is there any snowfall right now? Uh, a little bit, yes, there is. Okay. So that's that's a bonus too, yeah. Hmm. Have my uh, my pink eye cleared up enough that I can take a look at the uh, distractingly shiny objects? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm yeah. gonna send a little bit of fog um, with Azul um, to cover him. A so little, I've got a little bit of fog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good thinking, good thinking. Well, I, I don't want to like put so much fog that, that he can't even see. You no, know, but you know, um, so you don't have that much control over your fog. <laughs> yeah, it would be a blinding thick fog if you did it. That's a good idea, but I I, I wouldn't say. All right, that I can't I it. can't I can't do like a thirty percent fog has to be all or nothing. Oh, oh, yeah, then he'd have seventy percent of a spell slot left over. That's I can't talk right now. <laughs> Hello. I, yeah, I, can't I think talk it's right good. now. Yeah. I'll talk right now. Yeah. Like if you do. Yeah, after seven. I think it's, yeah, I think it's a good idea, right. but like do much fog. Then it's like, all right, now I can't see as well. Actually, right, I think then, I'm gonna let I'm, you. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, I, I'm, I, I, I like your idea. I'm, I'm gonna let you cast that spell, and you're Yay. gonna kind of do your. Thing. Okay, I'm just gonna send some light fog covering as well. Thank you, thank you. It's still a spell though, even though it's like just a light. So I'll it's give fine. you, I'll give you advantage to your movements and disadvantage to their perception. Okay. Okay. For Barona, right? For, no, for you. 
I'm oh, sending okay, the yeah. That's all with the axe. Like, uh, bro. Yeah. Okay. So I'm by the two guards, and before, I mean, I have a good view of from the window looking inside, but I'm by the two guards to see if I can pick up anything from them before I proceed. I might as well do all this right. now. Here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think I'm just going to head out. Man, Ron, Ron's <laughs> 3D maps are so cool. So, you're standing over here, Invisible Azul. And... Oh, wow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me zoom out a little bit. <laughs> I'm looking for me. Where Where am I? Sorry. Here. And, oh, okay, okay, okay. And you I'm guys are further out than this, even. Sure. Where you guys are. Back further. So. What? Oh, dude, the frost. Did you draw this, uh, Ron? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. But we can see, Doodle. like, we can see the front door from where we're at, for yeah, example. Yeah. People coming in and out. Yeah. Visible people who are coming in and out. Okay. Yeah, I should, uh... Okay. Yeah. So... And these are not right. thugs, by the way. These are these are civilians. Okay, okay. The, these are thugs the, by, the, by the wagons. But okay. these are groups of people. Okay? Just so you know. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. There might be some the, ruffians in with them, but but it's it's it's. Much so I, I'm just gonna head. You know, got the fog. I'm gonna head towards the guards by the door. Now you can see through here. There's, it's like burnt oh. wood, and and so you can see the people inside. But there's a lot of snow and rubble around. You know, this is all burnt. Uh, with you know sl sludge and snow around it. But it's, yeah, been, it's yeah. old. It's old. The burn. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Um, okay. Roll while you're while you're here though, and people are kind of coming this way. You know what I mean? Like that, or, or yeah, maybe yeah. They, might, they might go through here, but it seems like they're honoring the front door. Um, type of thing. You said honoring or honoring, like like using it. Oh, okay. And not going through the sides. Mm -hmm. uh, roll again your your stealth with advantage because you're you know yeah. and they they the fog looks like it's part of the weather so they don't even yeah. but it, yeah you're so, getting this nice fog uh, so six total for my first I rolled disadvantage and I rolled a tw nat twenty but so I rolled, roll a, lower, I rolled a lower number <laughs> well, okay, no, good. sorry Marquette what'd you roll. So for my first one, I rolled 16 total, and then for my advantage, I rolled 14 total. Okay, so 16. Okay, so that's good. All right, so you're you you know you're walking along and sneaking around, and no one seems to notice you or care. Or they're, Ooh. So roll your. What do you want to look at? And roll your perception at that. At what do you want to look at? I right, well, since I can see through here, I kind of got an idea of what's going on on the inside. Um, so I kind of just want to go closer towards the guards that are... Well, roll your perception near. to look inside. Okay. Here. Dang, I wrote a two. Okay, yeah, you know, you, you see they're in there, but you just can't get a good look. You're like, ah. Yeah. You know, <sighs> you can tell they're, oh, preserve, preserve, all right. I'm just you know, whatever they're saying. But I see, not maze, disbelief, shock, that I actually see the frost maiden. So... That I, because I, I can see her right through the, through well, the little. Well, yeah, okay. She's bright and green, <laughs> so I'm just shocked that I actually see her. Okay. Okay. So I guess I'll pro. I want to proceed forward. I at least make my way towards the door. But I know these two, the guards are here, so maybe. As I'm walking past them, I can pick up. Maybe they're discussing what's going on right now on the inside. If someone's being sacrificed or they're planning something. Okay, go ahead and go over there. And you said these are civilians, right? They're not the guards. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're all wearing furs. It's cold. It's, it's, it's winter, right? So you go over there. All right, so roll your. Um, I guess perception again. What what would be a good role for hearing and stuff? Uh, perception. If, yeah, just perception. Just with your ears. Yeah. Uh, you said presumption. Perception. Same one. 
For perception. 13. Uh, 14 total. Okay, um, take your gifts and go into Aura, or to the, to the Frost Druid. Uh, take, and you see them handing out, um, stuff in wrapped, like, cheesecloth wrappings or whatever. Yeah. Or whatever they're wrapped in, and so they're kind of handing out, and these are the maybe rich-looking people, you know, well-to-do furs and stuff. Uh, there's a mix of people, rich and yeah. poor, but mo- a lot of rich amongst the poor. You know, so uh, the the number, you know, the uh, the averages concerning the averages of the, what the people look like. Thank you, thank you. You know, and they're all appreciative, and they're coming through. And uh, are there going? Is there going to be a pilgrimage to the mountains? That will be next to our tomorrow night. Tonight, go and give thanks to the frustrated to, for Oro's blessings. Go now. And they're kind of like, whatever. These guys, they, they look like ruffians. These guys are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, the people take get their gifts and they go in. So, I guess I follow they're, him they're, behind. They're holding their gifts, too. So I'm thinking to myself, sheesh, what, what, can, what can be wrapped up in those things? And then they're getting their... Because you said they're getting blessings for something tomorrow, right? The, the, it, some, asked, some asked about the pilgrimage to the mountains to go so, south, and he said, that'll be tomorrow night, not tonight. Let me write this down and tell my guys when I get back. <laughs> tomorrow. Okay, cool. So, I guess I'll follow in behind them and see, maybe, I don't know if she's giving a speech or... All right, roll, well, I don't roll your... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Say it again. No, 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 go ahead. So, yeah, I guess I, I just want to follow in behind them. Maybe, I don't know, someone falls and drops their gift and I can see what exactly is the gift. Uh... Or just see if she's speaking to him, giving a speech, a preparement speech, something, just any okay. info. So, Roll I'm gonna your go in. Stealth again? Because you're going up the stairs. Ooh, perfect. 17 total. All right. So, you go up the. F- it's pretty foggy tonight. Yeah, with the snowfall. Yeah, it is. You about ready to go? Yeah, we're ready. We're almost out. We're almost ready to go. Almost out. Last okay. gifts. So they're, they're out. They're all right, going. so you go in, and you see them all gathering around. Do you want to keep going in? Yes. Right. So it's it's kind of crowded in there. You go in, keep going in to the paper. Yep. I'm trying to go as much as I can. Move your token in to the closer. Closer. <laughs> Uh, this is not good. <laughs> Very blank the way he keeps saying, "I'm gonna keep going in. I'm gonna keep going in." So. Okay. <laughs> Said the spider to the fly. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you see, um, you see the like a frost druid up there. All will will preserve you. These gifts are for you to, and she will preserve all of you in your beauty. All you have to do is worship her. Sacrifice mm-hmm. any that of yours loved ones, but she will preserve you for you are the chosen. You know, and you can see these guards here, but they look kind of fancier than normal ruffians. Yeah, and then there's a tough looking barbarian dude up there, mm-hmm. uh, almost semi giant, not really. Yeah, big guy. and she's just telling him, ah, but we will, All of you have your gifts. All of you will be safe now. Now give unto us. And they they all, um, uh, on the table, they put, you know, gold and coins and uh, whatever else. Yeah. You know, some treasures to her. Not a lot, but enough. Yeah. And then the guards, you know, get closer and, um, and they all hold up their gifts, their wrappings. 
Oral is the giver. Oral is the one giving you, and she shall preserve you forever. Wait, what? The huge helicopter over here. Oh. Sorry. All right, go. That's actually the the dragon flying over. Oh! <laughs> and uh, all you have to do is believe, believe in Oral. She will provide for you. Take your gifts and take them home to sustain you. And they they go into like chanting and alms and all that kind of stuff. Azul, what do you do now? Doc, I'm documented. <laughs> what do you do, Azul? Your your invisibility starts to stutter. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Get out. Well, most most church services do go at least an hour. <laughs> yeah, so I think I got some good info from my guys. You know, I got the pilgrimage mountain and whatnot. So before, yeah, I'm gonna head back before like all right, everyone starts to disperse and leave, and then like the whole crowd is headed towards the door, and I still happen to trip on the pebble. And now it's something you would do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna disengage and head back. Why everyone's still over there in a huge group, and I'm like closest to the door. All right, so get to the door. And roll okay. your stealth again with advantage. Nat 20 and 4. <laughs> Take the 4. <laughs> We're going to go with the Nat 20. I got a Nat 20 and a 4. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> That must be, that must say something. Right. Take the four. All right, so you get past them and you hear them saying, they're, you can tell they're packing up. They're, they're getting ready to leave. Yeah. All right, let's go back. Let me see. Uh, you rolled 20. So they yeah. say, uh, let's go back and <laughs> tell Sephic we've got got some more gifts to get. <laughs> okay. And by go back, they mean inside the gate. Right? No, no, they're getting ready to leave. Oh, okay. Alright, okay, so, right, you okay, head cool. back to your dudes. And as um, you guys see as he gets back um, that these, wag these wagons, you know, start to head out. So what'd you see, Azul? What's going on? I don't even know where to start. All right, well, first thing first, there's some weird ritual stuff going on. Let me tell you that. Um, believe it or not, I saw the Frost Maiden. Uh, I was shocked to see her. I remember us putting a beating on her. And last time we saw her, I was like, what, at a lake recruiting everyone? But nevertheless, I saw her. I saw, I saw a group of people, and they were, they were giving out gifts gifts and they were giving them out to everyone that was going through the doors uh, to go inside and see her and they were talking about take your gifts home uh, believe in oral something like that and then I guess there was something going on I don't know if you guys probably have something going on about uh, Pilgrim Mission Mountain that they're doing tomorrow and then I heard two of the guards saying um, you know they got more gifts to give so I don't know if they're manipulating with these gifts, uh, but they were just handing them out to everyone walking through the door. And th that was their main thing. And they said, protect your gifts, take them home with you, and believe in oral. Some weird, freaky stuff going on in that church, man. I don't know. What's don't being sacrificed? Say again? What's being sacrificed? Well, there was nothing visually being sacrificed there from... What I was looking at, their main concern was just to get. They were wrapped up. I, I couldn't even tell you what it was. They were all wrapped up. No idea what any of the gifts were? Maybe were if they, I were like gift them. baskets or were they, they large, were, they were small? Wrapped up. They were wrapped up in like a white cloth. They were all wrapped up in a white cloth and I couldn't see what was inside of them. I was hoping, you know, some idiot would stumble and drop their gift. I don't know. But they emphasized on looking after their gift and taking it home and protecting it and leaving oral. So 
that's some weird stuff going on, but something's going down tomorrow, that's for sure. But they're asking for all these, they're asking for and receiving all these gifts from people. Exactly. What are they asking of their followers? What's this cross maiden asking of the fo of her followers here, these people? What is it, believe in oral? So just that's believe, that's all they yeah. gotta do? I guess in my, from what I think, I think they're grooming them with the gifts. I think some way, somehow. I don't know. So where's this ceremony? That was tomorrow? tonight. Or tomorrow uh, in the mountain. Pilgrimage Mountain. No, Pilgrimage to the mountains. They're gonna, you know, like, oh. like they, they, gather, so that's, they gather them together and then send them off, you know, to the pass. To the pass. Oh, okay. You said pass or past? Like in pass. the past. No, no, like no. Mountain, no. mountain pass. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The previous ceremony that we came up on at the Frostbeam was at that island. And these were people that were being sacrificed. So is, does tomorrow's ceremony have anything to do with a sacrifice? Are people being sacrificed or something? Did it say? Did they say anything about that? Most likely, the people are being sacrificed. In the moment when I was there, there was no sacrifices occurring, so I, I didn't see any sacrifices going on. How many people were there today? Oh, over a hundred. <laughs> oh, it's a, an arm. Yeah. 80 to 100, that's for sure. So a straight on fight would be ill advised. I don't know what we're fighting, bud, but uh, we're outnumbered, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's is there a way to get to this Frost Maiden now? Now, okay, where is she now? She's still at that place, you think? I, I, left, I left early just before my visibility spell ran out or something happened. I thought it would be best for me to get out while I still can. Okay, question to the DM now as we're standing and talking no. to Azul. Huh? <laughs> so, uh, I can roll in our perception if you want me to, but is there... Is the crowd? Are we watching the crowd disperse and leave the building? Not yet. Okay. All right, guys. When the crowd disperses, the wagons have left. All right, the wagons have left. Well, we the wagons. I was coming back to you guys. The wagons that were leaving, they were saying they were going to go tell that they have more gifts to get. That was something I picked up as they were leaving. I'm thinking that maybe we wait for the crowd to disperse and then we sneak into that building that they were in and see if we can find some more answers. Hmm. Well, what if we just, get caught? Yeah, just from being there, the the amount of people that was there, I don't think it's a, a, a low-key quiet place. I think it's always going to be some a good, good amount of people there. Not as much as today, but I don't think it's a, a quiet, empty place anytime throughout the day or night. Temple, or is it? Is it? Um, it's an old church that's been converted or something, or what? Yeah, it's just church building. Well, it's not. It was not a. Or, it was never a church for you know a creed or anything. It was always a, well, yeah, yeah, a temple or something. Temple, yeah, temple is the the word. Are there do you see any um, indication of books or documents that were there? If I can, or, or any inscriptions? Do you notice? Because if I can, if I can um, get in there and, and look at some books or tomes or inscriptions, uh, that might give me a clue as to what's going on. No, uh, like I said, I wish I could have uh, got one. Verona, roll your history. Okay. Um, ten total. What would, what would it be with religion? Uh, four, uh, um, twelve. Well, you know that the oral religion is just recent, so... Yeah, it wouldn't have any history here. Um, 
Well, uh, one thing I noticed the difference was the three guards that were standing by her. They looked uh, really fancy looking, I would say. So, I think after we put a beat in on her, she's up to her security. How many, uh, how many Frost Maidens are there? Just her, right? We've encountered several. Well, there's, the, there's the one that's, that's always the queen, I guess, that's on the dragon flying around at night. We hear. That's, that's not a Frost Maiden. That's Oral, we presume. She's like or, the uh, Alpha Frost Maiden. Okay. So we, I, we killed one outside of Targos at the lake just the other day. Yeah. So... Verona, remember we went to that, uh, the one with the igloo? Okay. And uh, she animated the, uh, uh, the giant skeleton that attacked us. That was a frost maiden, so we killed that one. So it, that's at least two I can think of. So this is just the frost maiden for the biggest town in, in the region. So she's, she might be the, the head. As I see it. If, if we're going to continue to, to track this this uh, sect this and find out more about this ceremony, as I see it, we've got the following options. We can follow the wagons, trail the wagons, and see where they where they go. And presumably, they're going to go to the, eventually to the site of the uh, ceremony, and we could be there and waiting. Uh, we can go to the building and see if we can get some more answers there. We could try to, to find the Frost Maiden, and maybe the three of us together could take her on and and, and take her out. Um, or we could just chill here in this town and just uh, just see what happens next, you know? Um, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what else to do with this uh, mission. Okay, well. Let's see. All right. Well, how about? Okay, so we got our info, and then should we go to the next next town? Um, what happened to the plan of um, investigating or infiltrating Torks? Because um, if we were to disrupt Torgs, then um, that doesn't seem as daunting as like attacking the whole cult head on, and that would disrupt their supply of gifts. Uh, uh, so, so, which would re hopefully reduce their influence with the townsfolk. Uh, um, so that uh, seems like something that's more of a bite size um, goal for us that would yeah. work towards our, our ultimate end. Um, I'm game to go somewhere else, but um, I Torgs, the are the, that Torgs is the one with the thugs. So, uh, you know. We get the Frost Maiden alone, I think we could take her out, three of us together, but we don't want to fight her plus the hundred people that that uh, yeah she's with. So you uh, can't cross maiden alone, and I'm with you. I think we do that in the research you just said. That's another thing. It, it she'd have less influence over those people, so there'd be less likely that all hundred or whatever people would you know rush to her defense if some if they're not getting basically paid to be a part of the cult. Yeah. Um, so disrupt the flow of bribes effectively and you know the cowards and the people with more to lose are going to be peeled off alright um, so we're going to cut we're going to cut cut the supply lines to this uh, false religion fine so how do we in the torques is that what they said the torques is that the uh, torque merchants T-O-R-G is that right torque merchants torque merchants yeah. so how do we infiltrate them or to get after them. 
Um, follow the wagons. That's my my best guess to where they the origin of the wagons. Um, something else I'd be keen to find out is if we just follow one of these everyday people and find out what's in these gifts. That might be useful information before we go to Torgs. Are there still people milling about, Ron? They're all in there, still sort of chanting okay. and meditating. And With their chanting. gifts on their lap or yeah. something? Okay. Huddling. It's because it's cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so why don't we like follow one of these people home and try to find out what the gifts are uh, and then go uh, after that, go wherever the wagons are going. So, <laughs> Sounds good. The wagons are leaving, so. Oh, okay. Well, let's just follow the wagons then, because we'll see see them getting loaded or unloaded. Um, so either way, we'll find out what the gifts are. I'm just real curious what they're giving these people. Because we'll the correct me if I'm wrong, Azul, you did hear her say she told the people to take the gifts with them. Is that right? On their yeah. journey. Okay, so yep. that's part of whatever this mystery is. So. True. Because, well, we know tomorrow night where everyone's going to be, right? Tomorrow night, remind me. Uh, oh, the big, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, we know, at least we have an idea of like where they're sent off to. And I know we know for a fact that that's tomorrow night. Yeah. So that helps. Um, I'm just saying, like, if we're trying to track, I guess we can follow the guards, like you mentioned. That would be a pretty good idea. But, like, that also helps that we, like, guarantee know, like, where the majority of everyone's going to be tomorrow night. So, yeah. you know, our night, those gifts can be with them still. They could bring that along. Uh, like the guard said, more gifts to give, so it probably be more people. So yeah. for sure, tomorrow night, there'll definitely be like a lot more going on and info as well. Yeah, I, I like that, definitely. Yeah. Well, well let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, follow the wagons then. Yeah. Discreetly. Yeah, discreetly. Oh, okay. Well, Azul, maybe you should uh, walk ahead of us. Uh, and uh, since you're invisible, he's not. Um, well, that lasts for an hour. Yeah, okay, he's still invisible. Yeah, I got like 48 more minutes of being invisible. So, 48? Well, you, 32. <laughs> okay. So, how far behind are you guys going to stay? So, well, uh, we'll be far enough behind so we can see your footprints. So, we can, we can track you that way, you know. Uh, but we will uh, that way you're closer to the wagon so it's less likely they'll see us and then Ron I where do you go move. I could just move over here like back to where I was or is that the wagon where's the wagon this one right that's where I originally were it's going away. It's to the dark no, it's not. In the no. buildings. I'm over here. Oh, <laughs> Roll your stealth with advantage. What the rest of you do? Oh, 19. 21 total. Oh, are, we're all following then now, right? <clears throat> 8 total. Um, so 21 total for my first roll. Okay. So, yeah, what do you guys do? Reese, Ron, how do you follow? I was I was going to be following Azul uh, while he follows the wagon, and I'm tracking Azul by his footprints. But I rolled a very low roll. So. I'll, I'll go alongside Azul. I'm not or a little behind him. I'm not invisible, but I can stealth. Hmm. <laughs> or not? Oh my gosh, that sticks. Right. Eight. You two are kind of milling around here, trying to find his tracks, right in front of the broken down church and people inside some kind of notice you um, and the guards especially notice you but they're way in there so what do you guys do 
do we we notice that they notice us correct yeah, sure okay i had back I, I i casually head back towards the house here with we the just other fellas. pretend that we're drunk and we're just we're just uh, lost we're just two drunk guys walking through town <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> roll your performance on that one buddy <laughs> okay all right uh, oh! <laughs> and they get drunk. So, all right. Oh. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be nice and let you take him, take him this way then. Yeah. I'm going to be nice. Hey. With that nat 20, I'm going to say you pull Reese. I mean, you guys head that way. Yeah. So you can stick, keep up with us. Ooh. Oh, okay. All right. You see the wagons, there's two of them, and they just travel through the snow. You know, there's the there's the the snow the snowfall is light, so it's pretty good cover. It's easy to spot the wagons as they you know off in the distance. It's not like they're traveling very fast. There's no guards on them or anything. Oh, I see you bringing up. I see you guys bringing. Oh up, yeah, uh, we don't want to leave them behind. Oh boy, I have to think about that. Anyway, so I guess you better follow them because there they go. <laughs> yeah, I think I get a little bit. You see them stop here, and this old, big, dilapidated building there. And they uh, in the in the center. Yeah, and they big garage door looking kind of thing. They stop and get out. Okay, so roll your hiding now. You know you need to hide here. You know your stealth. I'll, I'll let Azul. Azul gets advantage. Uh, what do, what do I add to I'm that? I'm going to give you all advantage because you're maybe a little distance away though. You're not trying to get close. What do I add to that? Your stealth? Oh, that's 17. So 19 total. No, right, you're fine. Yeah, so 19. Yeah. Right, you're, you're 22. Good. That's enough. You guys are good. You got, you got Verona back there. So you see the wagons open up these these big garage, a big garage door and they both go in to each side of uh, Close, close it down, and they're and they're in that building, and it says on there, kind of old, you know, dilapidated, frozen wood type of grayish, torg merchants, you know, on there. But it's sort of in a dark area. All the buildings around looked either abandoned or you know whatever, hmm. frozen over. So there they are. It's... So, big uh, Azul, you win there. Well, you're still invisible and check it out. <laughs> <laughs> you got about you got about 15 minutes, I'm gonna say. Yeah. Are these so, houses around them empty? Do they appear empty? Yeah. Or, you know, they're all shuttered are, and dark. So can I go back inside? Okay. Uh. It's not going to be easy. Everything's sort of locked up. Right. You're, and that's the side or back of the house. There's a front door uh, over here. But, it, you know, it looks like it's secure, you know? It's not like so an as, open store or anything. Azul, I can make some noise out of here. It's like a warehouse. And maybe? then I'll make oh, some noise out here. When they right. come out and investigate, you slip in. So. Okay. That would be a good idea. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't look at me. Go pay attention no, 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 no. to me. So I'm going to be by the front door. You said the front door is over here? Yeah. I'm going to keep some distance just in case they come running out. And I'll be right there. And I'm going to... Wait, how are you talking to Azul way over there? Oh, wait. Well, uh, we're, he, he was back over here before he slipped up. All right, I'll so. give you a little bit of time to talk. All right, so, so quickly... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Revity. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna create a disturbance, make some noise, and then, uh, and then I'm, and then I'm gonna. So as soon as they come out to investigate, um, you slip in real quick, look around, and then, and then get out of there as quickly as you can because your invisibility is gonna run out soon. So, um, and then meet us back at the end, right there. Okay. 
Good plan. The rest of us are going to hide around the corner while you make the noise because we don't want to be seen. Correct. Right, perfect. Wait, All right. What noise are you going to do? What's is it a spell? I guess it'll be a spell. Um, I'm going to do. Um, what's this thing in front of me? Right there. What's that? Uh, an old, dry, frozen fountain. A frozen what? Fountain. fountain. Yeah, like water fountain. Yeah, water fountain. Something I can blow up then. Okay. Um. All right. Um. If I do a guiding bolt on that water fountain, is that going to make a lot of noise, GM? You know, or not? So. I don't think so. Okay. Um. Uh, it'll make some noise, but I, I don't know. It'll, it'll be like all these buildings glass. around us are occupied. These no. buildings around. Unoccupied, right? They seem unoccupied, you know, just at, without doing a search. They, it's, this is sort of like a, you know, a warehouse area. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm over waiting, like, what's taking so long? <laughs> All right. And your invisibility is running down, too. I'm going to throw a thunder wave and hit, hit the house with it, and I'm going to run. So I'm going to thunder wave and run. So I'm going to run over to the side here. So they should hear that thunder wave. It's going to hit the, the house wall right like here. Like the garage door? Yes. Roll your damage. My damage? Yeah. This is a thunder wave number one, not number two. So, <laughs> um, um, it's a five foot cube, 2d8. So I just roll 2d8 or do I have to roll 20? Ooh, look at that number. You blast the doors open. Okay, and then I run. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> roll, roll your... No, I think that's good. Yeah, you boom, and then it, it... Maybe it doesn't blast the doors open, but it definitely damages the garage door enough that it kind of is semi-open or something. So, yeah, you hear the horses inside, and then the men. There's men there. Um, they come... Rushing to the door, obviously. So, um, Azul, you heard a big thunder crack of wood and horses neighing, but it's around the side of the building, not in the front. Well, I guess I shoot over there just so I can get inside somehow. Hmm. You do what? I guess I shoot over there so I can get inside somehow. Okay. Yeah. Roll your... Yeah, run, okay, you run over here? Oops, yeah. Over here, right? Just here on this side. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, okay, so there's guys standing out there. Uh, let me just grab some dudes from the church just to make this simple. Uh, yeah, you you see guys come running out. There's there's you know not a lot, but it's not yeah. not that many. I'd. I just need a way. Slip in? Okay. Yeah, slip in. Alright. You slip in. Roll your uh, stealth with advantage. Uh, Anyone else want to do anything? 13 total. Yes. 17 total. Alright. Uh, Verona, what are you doing? I'm hiding in case the guys see me, so I'm, I'm going to run inside this building. Right Roll, well, there's not like a door there that you had predetermined. Okay, then I'm going to run up here. Roll, so I'm just kind of getting away. Well, well, roll your stealth. As you're breathing out mist and rushing and flur a flurry of snow. Yeah, that's it's what I <laughs> I saw someone over there! Alright, you see two guys mm -hmm. heading down the alleyway looking for you. Do we hear that? And I can see Barona now, right? Well, you know where he's at, yeah. Okay. I'm going to have these two just... They're going to be back up. They're, not, they're, gonna, they're too afraid to go. They're, they're cowards. <laughs> they're total cowards, unreliable, never show up. I mean, never... Can't <laughs> I'm, I'm going to move closer and, like, hang out here. In case anybody follows Barona, that way I can sneak up behind them. 
I saw someone. They came through here. Come on. They got their crossbows out. They, they do have daggers. All right. I'm casting Armor of Agathus and drawing my scimitar. Okay. As, uh, let me roll your stealth. Oh, 25. You got the drop on them, that's for sure. You know you do. Because they're coming, they're going after, they went around that way. That's what they, you know. So they're, you, you can already yeah. tell they're about to turn the other way. Okay, mm -hmm. Azul, you're inside. It's a where, um, no one look at this, but. No one look at it. <laughs> Look at what? Azul. You're inside here. See it? Wow. Yeah. And it's dark, you know, there's... Um, let's see the sizes of my feet. Here you can see Azul. It's like a warehouse. Yeah. It's a little. If there's still snow in there. It's very dirty. It's cold in there. And these guys are. They're waiting by the gate. Uh, the gate's damaged. We'll have to repair that. You know, they're, they're just kind of sitting there talking. But you're in really close quarters. Roll your perception, Azul. Sixteen total. They don't even notice you, but you, you know, you do notice though that, you know, your feet are shuffling around in the s snow there, it's hard stone, you gotta be careful where you walk, you know, you know, in case you cause any noises, but they're just, bad. they're just talking about the door, I don't know what damage they got, someone bash it in, you know, they're just kind of, so they're kind of loud and obnoxious and they're gonna, they're gonna, they got tools around, they, they can, you know, crusty old blacksmithing tools, and they're gonna start sort of patching up pieces of broken wood and fix the door but it'll probably take them a little while my um so they don't think you're there obviously my snow boots don't give me an advantage well they would give you a disadvantage really i thought about it but i'm not going to do that right now because they got spikes on them you know so uh, okay, okay okay but i'm not going to worry about it right now but i'm trying oh they're doing that i just maybe i can try and peep around and see if i can find something maybe the gift maybe i can see what these gifts are that they've been handing out to everyone. Well, what do you do? Uh, slowly but surely, walk around, make my way towards their, what is this, their, uh, their horse, their carriage? Yeah, uh-huh. And see what they have on that. Okay, um, uh, roll your perception to, to look around in there. Sixteen total. Okay. Um, uh, it's yeah. It looks like it's empty. But there was you know they had stuff in it, but it's empty now. Uh, okay. So I'll get off. Are these stairs right here? Yeah. Okay. You feel and like they, your visibility may be waning soon. Okay, I gotta be quick then. So, I head up these stairs. I wanna head up these, these stairs. Is this all one level or does this actually go up to something else? Hold on, it, uh, yes, it goes up to two doors on each side. All right, I'm gonna go left door. Um, which door? The left door. The, this door? Yeah. The other guys. Hey, 
I'm telling myself, hurry up, Azul, well. hurry up, Azul. Well. Where are we at here? Let me go back to the other map. Alright, um, split party. Alright, so these guys come around the corner. Reese, what do you do? Alright. <clears throat> the, they're, they're facing the other way. You yeah. Them. Are they side by side or one in the front, one in the back? Uh, side by side. Side by side. Okay. Or a little bit of both. One <laughs> <clears throat> so, right. takes the corner of the other, but they they they, they want to be side by side. Gotcha. Okay, let me move this, and we're gonna take a swing. Uh, I'll pick. Um, which one has the bow? Both have or the crossbows and daggers. Okay, we're not, they're not wielding both at the same time. Are they both wielding crossbows? Yeah, they have the crossbows ready to fire, and then they got a dagger in the other hand. Okay, all right. Then it doesn't matter. I'll just A or B. So yeah. uh, let me go uh, attack. That is... All right. And that is a natural one. <laughs> so I'm guessing I lose my bonus attack. Do you have a uh, snowshoes? Or yeah. You have snowshoes? I'm in, I'm in snow outfit, yeah. No, but like with the spikes and all? Like spike shoes? Spike yeah, shoes. yeah, yeah. No, no, did you get those? How did you get those? You, don't, you can't say you yeah, had Yeah, at, at the start of the... Been wearing them the whole time. When did you get them? Like, or how did you get them? You just rode down and had them? Yeah, when we started, you said to put on then the, the snow clothes and stuff. Yeah, that's fine, but you don't have the actual spike boots. Like they're that's kind of like a magic item you get in the game. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Then no, they're I not, don't have. They're those. not magical, but they're you know, okay. specific items. So you All don't right. have. Those I'm stuff. thinking snowshoes like badminton rackets under my boots or something. Okay. No, no, you just have nice boots that are warm. Okay. Okay, so um, yeah, you fall. Yeah. Mm. Let's say you fall. They turn around and see you, and that's the end of that. Okay. All right. I guess we're we in roll initiative. Mode. Yep. Corona, you want to help out or just keep going? That's that was an ep epic fail. <laughs> Who are you? I just thought I was going to keep running like a baby. No. Oh, I'll come yeah. back. So I'm coming, and now their backs are to me. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, um... And you're um, on the ground, so I should be able to do a thunder wave and hit them and not hit you. Um, should you do? Right? Unless I roll really, really, uh, roll a one, maybe. Would you roll for uh -huh. for initiative? Everybody? Oh. Huh? Uh, roll your initiative. Oh, sorry. Oops. You see the turn order there? Let's see, we got here. Oh, wow, six and a three. Do you have any decks? Worse. Do you have any decks with that, Verona? I have no decks, no. All right, this is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, they turn and see uh, Reese Plop. <laughs> they turn and fight. And they, uh, well, let me get, I'm going to see how smart the, either they, maybe they kind of make fun of you. Well, let's see, the higher the roll, the more damage you do. Of a choice they make. So they fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they fire at you. Uh, wait, wait, wait! They fire crossbows at yeah. blank range. Do they have the crossbow expert feet? No. So then they get disadvantage on their rolls because yeah. they're yeah. firing in, at melee range. Looks like fourteen. Well, you can hit you, you can hit me anyway. <laughs> well, it's gonna be uh, I'm gonna say it's gonna be regular range because they're close okay. and you're down and you're not moving, you know. <laughs> so just yeah, they they would have advantage they would have advantage anyway because I'm prone. So yeah, that would cancel each other out. Okay. Yeah. Now they wouldn't have advantage if they were further away because if you're prone. You know, no. Yeah. Because but right now. Yeah. yeah I'm not, don't even. I, what did I roll? I rolled a five. Or I missed and a one. What do you know? All right. He's crossbow snaps on him. Ooh, okay. Okay. Doesn't know a crossbow. Just has his dagger. All right. That was a terrible roll for me. What do you know? Reese. <laughs> All right, Reese, you're back in the game. 
I am going to uh, use my movement to stand up uh, and then attack again. Uh, this time I will uh, target the guy who has a working crossbow. So let's hope. Yeah, just the point. Yeah. yeah, I rolled my le. My, I learned my lesson. No more ones. All right, thirteen. Oh, you missed by one. Okay, and. Uh, well, I guess I used my movement for the standing up, so okay, I can roll again for the bonus. Yeah, the train is difficult, so... For the bonus, what? Oh. The bonus action, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with the other, with the back half of the... Yeah, so that's 1d4, okay, plus 5. 6 HP. Alright, Corona? I guess I will... Um, since I can't do the thunder wave because my teammate is now stuck, so I'm going to hit Zima, the warhammer on this guy closest to me. So. Um, okay, so help me out in this. So I do uh, plus five, I think, right? So plus five on the warhammer. So you just hit. Huh? You just hit. Okay. So now I roll for damage. Yeah, what is this? 1d8? 1d8. Plus your strength? What's your strength? Yep. What's your strength? Plus two. My strength. So five. Four. Okay. So five because of the magical. Two. Five because of the magic. Yeah. Alright. Um, you guys are in it? I'm going to do one last roll with them. We're gonna get you out. They, 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 um, they just hiss like they're gonna get you guys. Like um, a bunch of, a bunch of fools. Um, they seem to un be underestimating you. <laughs> okay, let's go back to Azul. Thanks to my fake out at yeah. the beginning of the battle. That's yeah. probably uh, the rule when that happened. <laughs> All right. Uh, Azul, at the door there, roll your slate of hand at the doorknob. Wait, hold on. I can't see. Uh, hold on, I was just really zoomed out. Okay. Slate of hand. Ooh, I got five for Southern Hat. Twenty. Yeah. Twenty? Oh. Okay. Twenty total. No, I meant like I have no, plus I, five. You got five. You got rule of five. Got it. No. <laughs> plus five. Okay. All right. So you carefully and quietly open up that doorknob and while these guys are working down below. All right, get that. Get that. We need some nails. Get that. Uh, uh. And you see. hallway short hallway very narrow kind of clean okay uh, doors on either side I and at the end I check my surroundings I'll make sure I'm, I'm alone I'm like okay and no time to take in so I'm trying to be quick as well so what is this is this a door on the left and yeah. a door on the right? Yeah, that's a door. Okay. So I guess I'll go into the first door first on the left or peek into it. Okay, I'm going to move you because I just need to be very careful. Okay, cool. Roll. You know what? You can tell it's locked. You know, there's a okay. key, there's a lock, whatever. I don't know if you've got any way of opening it. All right, well, even, before I even try and house it with that, I guess I'll go to the last door on the right to see if that's open first. Yeah, it, it too has a. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not saying it's locked, but it has a keyhole type of door. And so either of those doors, you know, and they got a. Um, would I use sleight of hand for that? Uh, you would need to pick lock it. You know, with lock. You know, some kind of. You could do it without with tools. If you don't have the tools, you'd be at disadvantage, and you could use your dagger or something to try to pick it. But you'll be at disadvantage for sure. 
I mean, camping gear I'll have some tools. Okay. You could take the um, you could take the the, the, tin, the tin cup from the camping gear and go ding 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 ding. ding. All right, I'll I'm kidding. I'll take my chances and I really got to see what's in one of these doors. So I guess I'll just have to go with disadvantage and just hope for the best. Which door? Uh, I guess the one I'm at now on the right. The one D two D twenty. Am I adding anything to that? No. Uh, uh, slate of hand, yeah. At disadvantage. Okay. So fifteen? No. Um plus side of hand five. Okay, roll your perception. Eight total. All right. The door opens, not by your doing them. Cool. <laughs> you see a man standing there. His eyes are blo glowing blue. He has a hand, and his hand is a ice dagger. He looks totally tall and sleek, and he's staring at you. Who are you? puts his dagger up to you, and he's about to do something on you that looks pretty powerful. Um, what do you do? So he's magic, right? He's what? Like he's magic? He feels like it. Alright, can I use my dispel magic? <laughs> um... Uh, cause I know if he has the blue eyes and whatnot, he must be under like her spell. Right. So by me doing that, using my dispel magic, I would be able to get rid of that, and I'll just be facing the normal him instead of the enhanced him from being under her spell. Okay. Hmm. Uh, roll your. You, you see his dagger turns into a long sword. <laughs> oh wow! It's not fair. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't go in and break into people's houses. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. Well, and he, he goes to grab you. What are you doing here? Why are you? Why don't you I didn't answer out? my. Were you part of that noise? Oh, you're gonna. If you want to cast, go ahead and cast. Oh, I just want to. Yeah, just spell magic. Okay, you cast so, it. Yeah. All right. It does. This act 120 feet. Yeah, so the... What's your, what's your, what level is the spell? Third? My spell or his? Yours. Third, yeah, third level spell. Okay, roll... No, wait Okay, what do you... What do you cast it on specifically? I guess to, to try and break the spell he's under that she has him under. It just says, uh... Ends an active spell versus spells higher than this. Cast an ability versus. Okay, roll spell. your. Uh, roll your. Roll plus your. And add your casting ability to it. And I'm going to gift him my inspiration <gasps> for this roll. How would you know? You're, you're not. Yeah, you can't, can't do that. That's fine. No, you can. That's not something we do in character, though, is no, it? No, 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 it's fine. You can. Okay. All right, well, so. He can roll it first without having to spend it. 
Wait, but for my spell casting ability, I don't have a number up here. Just for my spell save and my spell bonus attack. Spell bonus attack. Oh, okay. So. so. This is a weird roll. Plus what? Plus seven. Okay. Um, you you see him falter, like he feels a strange falteringness. His, his okay. dagger, his, or his sword kind of crumbles a little, like the ice kind of breaks off and melts or something. Okay. But his eyes kind of flicker, and he stands back. Oh, he kind of shakes it, like, you know. But you feel like he's coming back. Like it's okay. not going to last. What do you do? Well, since I got him tripping out you feel it's powerful though it's not whatever you did is not gonna last I think I'm gonna disengage into my guys outside okay at least while I got him tripping out that should give me time to disengage yeah he's he's kind of shaking like what the okay all right so I wish it was a nat 20 so I could have broke it but that was useful so I'm gonna disengage and head outside back to my guys. You gonna run out? All right. Yeah. Um, so you're visible now. Yeah. Just so you know. But they're bu they're busy they're busy building right now. That's true. Roll your stealth to see if you can get by them. Fourteen total. They're like, hey. What's the ruckus up there? And as, you, as they say that, they're not even looking at you. You run past them and get out. Okay. So, boom. All right. Run through them. Back outside. Okay. We're moving back to the other side now of this split party. A perfect spell for us, guys. Don't worry. That's uh, okay. So, whose turn is it? Mine? The fight? Uh... No, 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 the other guys. Was it my turn, guys? Yeah. Yeah, with the other initiative. All right, so um, one shoots, or this guy tries to stab Reese with his, with his daggers. It's a hand. Yep. Nine. I think that's a miss. Nine, like, plus 13. Miss. 13, yeah. And the other one turns and tries to stab at the guy bashing him. Ooh, okay. Yeah, he hits you. He gets his dagger through. Uh, he hits me? Yeah. Stabs you for five. All right. I'm down to 22 points then. All right. Uh, Reese, your turn. Okay. I am going to hit the guy or attack the guy that I attacked last turn. The one with the working crossbow. 22 for the... Okay, yeah, hit. First one, and that's finally. That's eight points. Eight sad, points to him. Sad. And then the bonus attack, twenty-four for an additional eight points. So sixteen points total. He drops. Okay. One left. Good. Verona. All right, Warhammer again. The same guy that I was hacking away at. So, uh, uh, I do D twenty to see if I hit right. Yeah. So, Plus five. Yeah, yeah. Eighteen. All right. Damage. Um. Seven. Oh, two plus. What do we say? Here. There's no enemies like around me or. Uh, there are, there are. Sorry, there are three guys out here. 
but they're just standing there waiting around. But, oh, but you, oh, so you got to run past they, them. But they don't see you. They're they, looking out. Yeah. Yeah. So wait, if they don't, if they don't see me, that means I'm behind them, right? Well, you're running past them, so they will see you. You know. So I'm right now. I'm in motion. Yeah, yeah. You can be. Yeah. What do you do? You can be. Now remember, you just ran past the guys in the gate in the garage, but they're gonna react to you pretty quickly. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? Because there's three or four of them. Three of them. All right, I'm going to use my Crown of Madness, which is attack against a caster. Yeah, I know you. Okay. Yeah. So, well, doesn't it go towards all of them? No, just one, but it, it'll mess them up for sure. Ten, um, yeah, okay, one of them starts going crazy and starts attacking the other two. So, nice. You can run past them. Okay, so now I'm running past. Ah, he's like, ah! They're like, hey, Jugga, Jugga, what's wrong, Jugga? You know, they're just freaking out on each other. <laughs> so you run past them, all right? What the devil's so, going on? All right, so you're past them, and you guys, um, I'm going to say this guy's, well, let's see. Race, killing blow. Can you do it? Um, hang on. This guy? I thought, oh, the guy that was say, trying to sound the alarm? Yeah. Yep, let's go again then. Mm hmm. Oops, sorry. 19. Yep. You come up behind him and stab him or something? Dead. Yeah, I'll get him from, from the behind through the, through the chest. Ah. Is that enough to get him? Yeah. Okay. Alright. And then. Have we heard any commotion? Are we aware oh, yeah. of what's going on? We okay. hear screaming and fighting over here. Back, back, you know. Then uh, I'm going to use my movement to go to the corner of this building and wait to see what comes around the corner. Right, you see a thug coming around the corner. You get a free shot off. A, th a thug. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a Zool. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> You're about to strike him and you realize, oh, it's a Zool. Okay. All right, you guys are together again. Together right. at last. All right. Together again. All right. But, uh, yeah, there's a... Um, I don't know, the so, Azul, what did you find in that building? The whole place is alert, obviously. <laughs> you know? uh, I didn't find much, man. I went inside. Uh, I tried to check their carriage. It was empty. I went upstairs to the door. came across this guy. He was definitely under a spell. He had blue flame smoke coming from his eye. His freaking dagger turned into a long sword. It, dude, I, but I was only able to, I, it was a fight. I don't think I would have probably won in closed doors, I would say. Um, so I just used my dispel magic, you know, cast that upon him. And that showed me that he was definitely under a spell because it dazed him for a bit, but I was able to disengage and get back out here to you guys. And I see you guys picked a party too. So let's uh, let's take out these three guards that are in front of the building. I'd like to go in there. Maybe the three of us could take on this guy. I'm wondering if he is enchanting these gifts that that the, the uh, that, that's being handed out to the townspeople. Well, I'm just giving you a heads up, man. This uh, this guy <laughs> didn't, look, didn't look like something to play around with, but um. I mean, hey, us three versus him, and it's just him in the building now. Uh, besides, when I was coming out, there was two guys fixing the door, but I don't think they're concerned on that door anymore. So, I mean, if we take out these three in front, I already I cast a spell, so yeah, one of them. No, I mean, they're dead. They, they fought oh, each other. Oh, perfect. Yeah, they're over, you know. Oh, the guys in front yeah. with the crown of madness? Okay. Yeah, the crown of madness did it. Well, maybe. Uh, damage to them. Well, maybe if we get inside and take care of this guy, there was a door that was locked that I wasn't able to get to, so who knows what's in there. And the room, I ran into the guy. He was in there. I wasn't able to search the room, obviously, but those are two rooms that were locked. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But who knows? That door on that other door could be another one of him. Well, as I see 
we got two options. We're, we're all dressed up. We might as well do something, right? So we got two yeah. options. We can we can destroy the wagon and burn down the building and call it a night and go back to bed, or we can go in there and 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 uh, and fight this guy and see what else we can find and everything. So. All right, let's do it. Sounds good to me. All right, so. <laughs> Rhonda and I look happy. <laughs> I get to do some fighting. So, all right. You guys got any, Head inside. Uh, you guys got any miracle potions? All right. Miracle potions? That's all I'm asking. We, uh, we didn't stop to see Miracle Max on our way here, did we? <laughs> yeah. right, these two are not there, so... Outside. Yes, I'll be right back. Yeah, we only got like half an hour, so I mean, take a break if you need to. I'm all right. Cliffhanger. Uh, I'm craving ice cream, but the problem is that all the ice cream places will be closed when I. Uh, eat there, so I know. <laughs> I'm lactose, so I'm happy for you. <laughs> I've been, if I can't I've, eat it, you can't eat I've it. I've been re replacing my ice cream craving. With Amish popcorn. I've been eating a lot of Amish popcorn. <laughs> Amish popcorn doesn't yeah. seem to be it's, like, an I, adequate replacement. It's delicious, and you know, like, it's just like I feel like it's more natural popcorn. It's got more. Is it like? Uh, is it like uh, it's kettle corn? corn? No, no, it's it's, it's uh, corn seed, popcorn seeds, and I pop it myself in a pan. And I buy their oil too. They kind of have like a flavor of oils. Is it sweet? No. No, no, not sweet though. It's uh, I just love popcorn, you know. <laughs> yeah. And it's from you know the Amish country. It's not like they don't. They say they get some of the popcorn from Amish, the Amish, but most of it's just from that area it's in Illinois or wherever it is, or Indiana. Mm. I, really I do like uh, popcorn. But, and a lot. I, I put a lot of butter in it too. So butter and oil. I, I I love like movie popcorn. Yeah, movie since, since since the movies were closed, I was like, man, I really want popcorn. So I I researched and got theirs, and I just feel it's like a little more natural than regular popcorn. Anyway, oh, I take my popcorn to the movies. I don't like <laughs> I, now. I don't like movie popcorn for some. I think maybe because I'm I take I take I take my own popcorn. I have to. I'm sure they they love you for that. Wait, you take your own. That's how they make their money. Yeah, because well, see, that's the purse. Because I always have my girlfriend take a big bag, right? Like a little purse, or well, a little purse. And <laughs> I take my popcorn that has no butter. Cause dude, like being lactose, I'm telling you, it sucks. And I think as I've gotten older, it just got worse. And mm. maybe a year or two ago, I used to be like, you know what? A little won't hurt me. Screw it. But now I'm at the point where I'm like, a little will kill me. So I just, I just yeah, it, it's, right. so the fact that you can enjoy some ice cream, man, is, don't get me wrong, like there's some non-dairy ice, Ben and Jerry's have some non-dairy ice cream that are good, but you can tell the difference. Oh, yeah. With, with vegan cheese and real cheese, you can tell the difference. It's just not the same. All right. So. You guys are coming up to the warehouse. The door is a little broken, so you can see sort of a <coughs> a little bit in there, but it's kind of dark still. But you can tell there's bodies in there moving. This is the door that he exited from. This is the garage. Yeah, the garage opening right here. And uh, did they see you before you came out? Did anybody see you? <laughs> yeah. And I'm, I'm assuming you're not that close. I'm assuming you're maybe by the building, you know. I mean, they buildings. didn't They didn't see me before I ran through them like a bull, but, okay, yeah. But they knew you were in there and you fled. Yes. Okay, well, we'd better there just we... announce our presence then. Yeah. Well, you remember, you did the Thunder Wave. You, you did a whole class. Yeah, they, they yeah. know where I'm at. They know. So All right, what just, do you do? Just do this. I'm going to say you're, you know, 80, 100 feet away right now. All right. Um, I'm far away. Or we all are. We 80, all are. You all are 80. You know, and there's the water fountain behind you. Or in this. Race, you probably should yeah. take the lead. Go in there. You're the 
swordsman extraordinaire and everything. So. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, <clears throat> fair enough. All right, uh, I'm just gonna walk uh, or go up to the front door and um, the garage door. Yeah, the garage door, and listen. And can I hear anything on the other side? Okay. Okay. So you're gonna go up. All right. Yep. Two bolts come flying out at you. Out of the door? Yeah. Out of the darkness. It's open. Wait, the door was open yes, already? Yes, Look, I, I said oh, okay. I said it was slightly open. The, the, can you see the, uh, okay. the, the light here? I gotcha. Did okay. you guys hear what I said? I said it was slightly open. You can sort of see bodies in there, but it's dark. Okay. I'm sorry. I thought the door was closed. No. So okay. I'll give you just because that's fine. What do you do? Um, well, approach from an angle, like from the side, and then and I'm gonna, and then I'm lights. gonna cast dancing lights and shove the lights inside. Okay, roll your stealth to try to do that. You know, like they can't see you, uh, and get advantage because they they obviously have only a certain field of view. <laughs> 26. Hey, that's a nat 20. A nat 20. All right, you are right here, buddy. Okay. You want, here's your dancing lights, these purple ones. Purple ones. Wait, before you do that, where are the Barona and Azul? Where are you guys? We're, uh... I'm right behind him. <laughs> right behind him, so... Yeah. Uh... Yeah. I feel like this is where we need a hand grenade to toss in there, but we don't. Um, <laughs> Something, right? Yeah. See what I've got in my have any Explosive that we can throw. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's only going to show you where you're looking. So, oh, you threw the lights in there. Kind of the yeah, I'm, but you I'm have to see them, them, right? See what? The light, the dancing lights. You can't just put them somewhere where you can't see them. No, as long as they're within 120 feet. I mean, yeah, I couldn't put them. I could. You can put them right there. That's fine. Yeah. Right here. You, you put them in there, dancing around. Um, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, they're 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 doing their weird thing. What do you guys do? Hey, do we have crossbow? I have a crossbow. Does, does anyone else have a crossbow? So there's people right here at the I door? Do. You think there are. Uh, oh, yeah, well, actually, uh, what's the, the lights, the lights. Okay, I'm going, then, um, to heck with it. Uh, as soon as I put the thing in and I see people, I'm powering the sword back into my hand and, and turn around the corner and attacking the first guy there. All righty, we're in combat mode, people. You turn in and that's what you see. <laughs> You see what you're in? Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you a um, surprise because of those dancing lights. Okay. So Is he in, the, in there by himself or we're with him? Well, you're right behind him, but he's kind of stuck right at the entrance. Okay. But what do you, you guys, if you guys want to do something, uh, let me know. Can I throw something through the window? There's no window. Oh, then I'm just trying to get in with him, I guess. You can maybe yeah. cast a spell past him if you want to try. Okay. But Glenn, first, uh, let's go with... Um, his face. Reese first. Okay. Right. So my attack is an 18. Okay. Uh, come on. Seven points of damage, and then my bonus action, I'll make a second attack for 20, and another. Eight points, so fifteen points total on whoever that was. Yeah, you, these are the two crossbow guys. They were they were gonna shoot out the window there. Okay. All right, you're still in trouble. And then I take a five foot step to the side. Okay. That's fine because the door is blocking this guy from attacking you. All right, uh, Azul, what do you do? Uh, can I? I can we supposed to roll our initiative here, probably, or not? We're well in a sec. This is just a surprise. Yeah. Because of the dancing lights, you kind of shocked them. Okay. 
I can use my, uh, my, um, crown of madness again, right? I would just take off another point. Well, if you have a spell slot, yeah. So, yeah, I want to use my crown of madness. Wherever the group, when they're all close together, because I can't, I'm not inside. No, but this, you can see them right now. Look, right? These, These guys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You see this guy too, the dude with the glowing eyes. Oh. It's right there. He's got I the wanna, glowing eyes. He's got his I put, sword back too. I want to put it on him. He can take all of them out. Whew. Saves. What's what is it again? I mean, it's up to you. Do you want to do him or them? Or one of them? I mean, it's up to you. What do you think? Rise, what do you think I should? Should I do it on the group or should I go for the strongest guy in there? The 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 maddening thing? So Yeah. I put it on the group because I imagine the, the the glowy guy is gonna have a uh, a higher save, huh? Since it comes that, so. Uh, Do you see go. the glowy guy? Yeah, I can see him. Okay, that's that guy. Okay, that's that guy. Right. So I'm, throw... gonna, I'm gonna put him on the group right here. Okay. I'm gonna... What's the saving? Uh... It is. Fail. That's what I like to hear. Alright. I got that. Maruna, what are you doing? I'm going to do a guiding pull on the uh, glowy guy. So, um, um, oh, okay. Level one. Actually, I'll make that level two guiding pull. So, um, so what do I do? <laughs> uh, it's uh, for, for level one, it's, uh, it says 120 feet, 1 MD, 4 D6 radiant. So if I, if I make that a level two, um, that detail. Um, yeah, it would add another hit die. Hold on a sec. I'm trying to get that crown of madness. Uh, why is that showing it? Oh, wow. So you get you get to choose the uh, who he attacks. I do? Yeah. Like who I cast it on or who they attack? You can mentally choose who it attacks. You know where I'm going. <laughs> you know where I'm going. I'm going blue eyes, glow eyes. Okay, and then what was the, the guidance? This guiding bolt. Right? Light favorite. Same and I'm again? doing bolt. Yeah. Alright, so you can do. Uh, wow, 46, plus an additional 1 die 6 per level. Alright, so roll your... You're doing it on the, 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 the guy, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so roll your... to hit. So it's your spell attack. Me or Verona? Verona, Verona. Okay. So I roll what? Do I roll to... Roll your uh, spell attack. Roll a d20. Okay. And add your spell attack number, which is on your spell list. Oh, that's a hit no matter what, so you hit him. Alright, so you, okay, you and then, do a second level? Kind of yeah, so is that... Uh, so 5d6 damage. Now the next attack on him, he's glowing, so the next attack on him is going to be um, uh, at advantage. But let me now roll initiative. Everyone gets an initiative. Oh, me. Everyone did your initiative in the uh, initiative turn? I did 19. Can you type it for me? Because my thing is like blocked. I did 19. Two. 
Which one are you, uh, uh, Reese? I have a six I'm the nine. Right, I'm already in there. Alright, here we get. Oh, no, I didn't do the. They were waiting for Barona. I rolled an eight when they stood. I don't have. I'm not on the uh, thing of the turn order. Yeah, you are. You're, you're, right, you're there. Oh, you don't see it okay. yourself? I don't see myself on there. Okay. Let me do it again. I trust you. No, I, at least I, I, I'm going to make sure. Okay, there I am. Yeah, whenever I go to no map, it resets it and then no one can see him except. But I see him. It's kind of lame. Okay, so I'm going to say the ruffian turns and shoots Sephic, alright? Okay. Um, he hits him. Ah, only three. Alright, so that may, yeah, that's, okay, so this guy, the other guy, is gonna be like, let me see if he just understands what's going on. Okay, he's confused. And, uh, yeah, he gets confused by his, the guy with the, you know, his buddy with the crown of madness. So he doesn't do anything. Uh, this guy, you see these guys running around. Hey, ah, you see some more dudes coming. So you guys are in trouble. And it's not his turn. Azul, it's your turn. Okay. So. Oh, sorry. I'm going to cast a spell on the guy that's confused. Or actually, no. I'm going to do my witch poke on this guy. Okay. Um, Are we going to use your brooch? I am, actually. So, witch poke yeah, attack on cool. And then, what is witch poke? So, what's his armor class have to be? This is lame 12. He's just wearing, like, light clothes. Oh, what a dork. And that's, an, that's a peculiarity, by the way. He's wearing light clothes in a wintry freeze. That's his weakness, I guess. Oh, you miss! You I have inspiration. You do? Well, yeah, I only got one. All right. You you see me erasing this. I'm not <laughs> I'm not mad with ten. <laughs> Alright. Alright, roll again, lucky dog. Oh. Uh, and Reese never used his. He never had to. So you still have it, Reese. Yeah! <laughs> Wait, what's your attack bonus though? My my make it. Seven. You need a twelve. <laughs> so you hit. Five plus seven is twelve, right? Yeah. I need a twelve to hit, right? Yeah. So yep. I hit. Yes. You're hit. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's all you needed. So, and then, what do I roll first, and then use my uh? Well, roll both. You get the hit die. You get the hit die. Oh, damn it! Extra hit die. Are you doing it at second level or third level or whatever? What's Witch Bolt? Is it at first level? Witch Bolt is at... It's first level. First level. So what yeah. level do you want to cast it at? Second. I'll just I'll cast it at second, and okay. then I'll crawl. Okay. So you get an extra so hit die. Or se second. Huh? I don't think I have any more second level spells for today. Right. So that's Slots. it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. For All right, second so level. you get... Uh, it's two hit... 2d12, plus if you want to use one of the hit dies, 3d12. Remember, you get two hit die per combat. So you can add this one hit die to this spell, this, uh, this, this casting. I will, and then I'll cross one off. And it's not going to be every turn, though, because that's way too powerful. It's just going to be this turn, and then... Every combat, right? No, what I'm saying is you, you get to use it this turn, but you don't get to use it the next turn unless you want to use the other hit die. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. And right now I'm going to do 3d12, correct? Yeah. Zap, he's this guy's he's getting pummeled. Oh man, okay. That's not good. Verona. Um oh, wait, oh, yeah, sorry. Who's turn is it? Oh, sorry, it's 
Reese's turn, I guess. Um, the guy yeah, that I attacked right. before is still standing. Yeah, this guy is still standing. Okay. Barely, but he's still standing. I will uh, chop chop again. Okay. 18, hit. 10 points. Is he still standing? No, he's dead. Okay. Uh, the guy behind him or next so this to him? Guy, yeah, this guy's still alive, but he's got the crown of madness on him, and he's shooting at Zephyr. Okay. okay the Is guy. there anybody else nearby? Yeah, you see these guys? Coming around? Yeah. You know what? If he's going after the one guy, I can walk up to him, right? That's yeah. not very far? Yeah. Okay. I'll do that and then use my bonus. Uh, hang on, I'll do that. Use my baleful my baleful hacks uh, on him and then uh, use my bonus action to take his swing at him. For let me make sure I got. Yeah, he's within. Da, 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 da. Okay. Just making sure I get this correct. All right. And then use my bonus action to whack him. So the other end. Uh, Twenty. Is that hit? Yep. All right. That's a hit. That's a ten points of damage. Pummeling him, right? Verona? Right. Um, He's taking a lot of hits, though. So, uh, I'm going to step up. You got to push here. Azul out of the way. Azul, you got to. Um, can you can move I duck. I duck. No, you're, you're in the way. He can't get in. Oh, sorry. You can move, though. So what, do I, what, what am I able to do? Uh, you can move in not... if you want. Okay. Or you see, you can see people there. Now this guy right here has the crown of madness on him. But you can move in. You can step into the garage. I want to do a thunder wave, but I don't want to hit my own guys. So I'm trying to. Well, you can move in, right. and, yeah, and discern where you want to shoot at. Um, All right. Um, you can move more than that, like to get a better vision of the whole place. Like you can move behind this guy. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna come right up next to Azul right there, okay. uh, and I'm gonna shoot the thunder wave. Um, this, this, you know, um, diagonally down, right? Yeah, that way. So, um, um, okay, and this will be uh, level two thunder wave. Yeah, I'm gonna let you do it. Just like right there. You gotta get right there. Do your little cone. Uh, I'm gonna say you get these guys and these guys, alright. I'm gonna try to take the minions out, basically. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, they just gotta save, right? Yeah. Blast so, level them. two. Uh, what's. Oh, level two? Wow. What's the your, your DC again? The spell difficulty class? Uh, Verona's difficulty class? It's on the spell sheet there. Top right, I think. Oh, uh, 13. Hopefully not. Yeah, they get plus one, so they save by they save. The, they still take half damage. And the second group fails. Okay, so roll your damage at second level. Um. Oh, you don't have it on there. So how many do I do? Four D eight then. So. Oops. Wait a Thunder. I think it's two D eight for the. At first level, so 3d8 at second level. 3d8. Okay. 14. So, oh, roll another 3d8. Because yeah. some of them, they're susceptible to area. Oops, sorry. Um, so 14, I'll just add those three together. 
1428. Okay, so yeah, the other guy, definitely one of the guys in the back drops or gets blasted and killed. Um, but, um, and the front ones, you know, got hurt too, but not as bad. Okay. Okay. And now it's this guy's turn. Uh, right. Boy, he's, ah, ah, he's freaking out. Um, he's really, he's really hurt. He's, he, he takes his long, he takes his ice, his, his long sword, takes it in two hands. And he, ah, he hits uh, uh, evil drow. Or not evil. He didn't say evil because he is evil. You, um, go oh. out, you, uh, you know, ah, whatever he says. Ah, he just sweeps at you. Um, oh, wait a minute. It's nice to face a coherent enemy. Yeah. Okay, he does that. Ro uh, incoherent. Twenty-one hits. Twenty-one hits. All right. Take uh, this plus three. Six and oh, and cold damage. Okay. Three more. Okay, so that's nine total. And he does a Molinae. Swings again. Hits again. Okay. Seven plus three, so ten. Ten doesn't, ten doesn't hit. No, he rolled a nineteen. Nineteen misses. I have an AC of twenty right oh, now. Oh, oh, sorry. Thank you oh, wait, to wait, the wait. door. No, no, I'm sorry. Th I, I rolled a nineteen, but it's twenty-four. Ah, gotcha. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then he hits. Yeah, no, you're, but you're right. I, so how much damage on the total. second hit? Uh, ten sorry. and eight, so eighteen. Eighteen on the second. Yeah. And nine on the first, right? So he hits me twice, right? Yep. Yeah. So because I have Armor of Agathus up, he takes 10 points for each hit and cold damage back. So that's 20 damage to him. Uh, 10 points total or each? 10 each time he hits. So he hit me twice, so he takes 20 points of damage. Really? Mm-hmm. From Armor of Agathus. It's not... No. I disagree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so I take the 27, but... Then that drops oh my, my temporary hit points, so Agathus is over at this point, and I take the difference, which okay. so is, he, I'm doing the um, math here. All right, yeah, but you see that he. Um, so I take 17 hit points of damage, so I'm down to under half my hit points from that. Wow. Okay, so and then you see he he disappears suddenly. Up to this top raft, like, you know, he disappears, and he reappears up at the top there, by the door, up at the top, okay. and he drops up there. You mean like passes out, drops? Yep. Okay. He drops his sword, the sword comes down, shatters into icicles. Oh, man. And, he's, and you see the light, is that glowy, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. <laughs> First time that spells worked for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Uh, All right. All right, my turn, freaks. Okay, so this guy, uh, who do you want him to attack, Al Zul? The crown of madness guy. I mean, that's it. You can attack them. You know, these guys. Or whatever. Yeah, fine. They're right. Why not? Right, I'll just roll real quick. Uh, Stabs him. Actually, a little hand axe or dagger or whatever. Oh, it's a good one. Okay. And they're, well, you know what? Let me see if they like, what the heck? Why are you attacking me? Um, they, okay, you know, they're going to either attack, uh, so they all sort of attack in unison, but I'm going to roll randomly, uh, you three there. One, one, three, six. They attack, okay, I'm, they go for Reese. I don't know why they go. Because they're racist. <laughs> they're racist. Not gonna go. uh, they yeah. miss. Yeah, Nobody likes the dark elves. They miss. All right, these guys run up and attack. They're going to go over the crown of madness, dude. Wow, they miss. Okay. 
your turns. Azul. So I want to use. I guess I'll the use witch bolt. Can you then. can you move the witch bolt to another target? Oh yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll move it to the guy he attacked. Really doesn't matter who in that group because I can just um I can use my twin spell. No, so, no, you, you 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 still have the spell going. Oh yeah. So I just have to roll for my twin spell in order to hit both of them, right? Wait, let me see if. I think I can. No, I don't think you can. Uh, why does it say what happens if it dies? It just doesn't say. It doesn't say you can move it. I'm sorry, but I don't think you can. Sorry, dude. Guess so. You gotta do something else. Ooh. Guess I'll use my. I mean, you could cast it again if you want. Do something else. Yeah, I'd rather or cast it in so that way I can just use my twin spell and just get two enemies at once. Ooh, okay. Yeah. All right. So up there, armor class. So you're going. All right. Uh, fourteen is armor class. Both of them. One. All right, 14, you hit. Yep. Your spell attack okay. is 7, right? Yes. And, and the then... I have to roll to hit both of them, right? Yeah, separate. The bottom one? Uh, so roll again? Yep. Hit. Okay, so top one, what, uh, what, what are roll damage? Is it just 1 die 12? Well, I'm going to do the... Oh, I already used the twin spell, right? Since yeah, I'm already can't, can't okay, cool. So yeah, one D. What aren't I doing? Two D twelve? No, unless you want to oh, add this that last hit die. You want to add that last hit die to this attack? Don't I roll separately for them? On yeah. The... Yeah, you're gonna roll separately for both targets. Oh, okay, okay. So, so first target one... roll two D twelve. Okay. And you're using the brooch. I'm assuming. Yes. I'm assuming. Yeah. So wouldn't it wouldn't be three D twelve. No, just it's only one D oh. twelve. Normally it's only one D twelve. Ooh. Yeah. If you made it second level it'd be two D twelve or whatever. Oh yeah, 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 okay. Okay, so minus twenty one, alright, that's pretty good though. Alright, so the yeah. second target, roll one D twelve. Because it's just a normal which one. Give me a twelve. Give me a twelve. Uh, all right. Ah. Not all right. too bad. Uh you can move if you want, but it's Reese's turn next. Um I think I'm going to stay where I'm at. Okay. Yeah, you're in a good position. Oh. Reese? Yeah. Hey, how many of them are left now? Uh, well, well, only one in that group, and only two in this group. Alright. Um, I will... Um, do I have to move, or is he adjacent to me? He's adjacent to you. Okay. I mean, you're engaged. I'll go, yeah, I'll go ahead and... Uh, Attack. Uh, Ryan, we're doing 20. a late nighter tonight. I forgot to mention that. Twenty-one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hit. All right. We're gonna end it here soon. As soon as I bring in the reinforcements. <laughs> oh yeah, that's somebody crazy. did say they wanted a cliffhanger. Nine points on the first ah, hit, man. and then a nine on the second right. attack. So miss. So nine hit points. All right, so there's there's two guys in this group here. Yeah, left. and one guy left in this group. And the crown right. of madness. Oh shoot! I forgot um, the crown of madness is a. I think that's a. I think it's a concentration, isn't it? Yes. Are you, are you asking or telling? It is. I forgot. <laughs> Dang it, Markel. Crown of Madness is concentration, so you can't do the witch bolt. But I'll. Uh, oh, sorry. No, it's, not, it's, it's 
right well, he can. Just, he would just have to drop crown, so it's yeah. his choice. I'm going to do a level one Thunder Wave pointed down just to take out those remaining two guys. All right, we'll there. take out this guy, too, because he doesn't have Crown of Madness anymore. Okay. Um, All right. Go for it. Mr. Stormy. Oh, so I'm just gonna do is it... Is it... So right now I'm using my boat, right? Oh, I got, sorry, I got to say. Uh, yeah, you're using your wishful. Uh, okay. This guy fails, all right, so he takes seven. And then the group takes... Oh, they completely don't jump out of the way. They save. Roll the 20. Let me try, though. Attack now. This guy attacks uh, Reese. That's a miss. Okay. This guy attacks Verona. Oh, that's a hit. Take seven. All right, these guys rush up. They're gonna attack Verona too. They don't like. Verona. Is that hit? Verona? What? Does a 15 hit? That, 15? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm 15 or 16. I don't know which one I'm in. So. For my armor class. I think you're at, what do we say? 15? You're at 13 plus shield is 15, 16. You're at 16. 16, okay. Yeah. Sorry, I missed. Hey, uh, Azul, what do you do? Which bolt? Yep. All right, roll the first one. 1d12? Yeah. Woo! Man, that guy's giving up. All right. Well, no, they're fighting to the death. Sorry. Second one? Seven. All right. You're working them down. All right. Sorry. Reese? Taking another wash. You notice they're 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 fran they're not gonna surrender. They're frantic. They're uh, 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 uh. twenty-four to hit. Alright. Uh, dead. Dead. You don't have to dead. Okay. Second attack. And is there another is there another guy nearby? Yeah. There's one that guy here go. and one guy here. I'll take the first one you mentioned. Okay. Yeah. Ten. Miss, I'm assuming. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna do a warhammer on this on this guy here. So. Okay. Um. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Um. That's all you got. All right, let me just do that. What right? if I added that? No, I don't have that works, but yeah. five. Okay. Miss on you and then uh, on Reese and on Verona. Miss. Okay. Azul. Oh man, do your damage. One elite just one die twelve. You still got one left. Me? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, Azul. Azul, yeah, I was gonna say I, I used All both right. my actions. Alright. Reese, your turn. Alright. Azul, you can move around if you want. Casually, but that's all you can do. I mean, I'm in a good spot. Reese, Twenty-five. Yeah, damage. You guys are just working them down, but you, they're they're sweating and frantic. Eight. But second attack. They're fighting to the death. Twenty-six. Yep. Seven. So fifteen points total this round. Um, Warhammer again on that, guys. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Nice. Nice, plus nice roll. Three? No, I do 28. Plus three. Oh, we forgot the rebuke thing, like the storm rebuke thing. Yeah. Oh, dead. Smashed him. You, you, you shortened him down. <laughs> Uh, this guy um, 
We've cleared the bottom level, right? So I'm not Bits telling you anything. Total. That's not how this works. Bits and <laughs> total. Okay. okay. All right. So there are two doors up here, you know, up above on the, the, the stairwell. Um, mm -hmm. There's a door obviously down here. Okay. So the the wagons are in this are in this warehouse with us, right? So, yeah, and the horses are there. They're a little, you know, they're tied up. Or whatever. Okay. A reminder to the to my comrades for next uh, time, which mm -hmm. I guess will be a month, month from now, right? We have to um, search these wagons and, and then search this area and then work our way up, I guess. Is what yep. Yeah. Taking out that guy was easier than I thought it would be. Yeah, I know. That was the yeah. Because when I was one on one with him, you did not make it seem like this okay. guy's put a lightsaber, this okay. guy. <laughs> that that dispel magic was really clever. Yeah. 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 That's not, that's not what it's used for, in, but I looked at it and was like, well, it kind of makes sense to me. Yeah, I thought, yeah, because I'm like, okay, I remember when she had people under a spell, they were like this. So I thought I could snap them out of it. And you made them seem so powerful. I'm like, I'd rather fight them regular than this way. <laughs> so. And then I'm like, all right, you know, let me just disengage because I'm trapped. I'm with this guy, and then I got two guys in the house downstairs still. So I just thought it was smart best to get out. I was like, oh, yep. God, he's Markel. All right, now I attack. Like, oh. <laughs> so, Markel, this summer, when you're uh, in training camp, remember, cast Dispel Magic before you do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll definitely... Uh, On the defensive so, line. Yeah. There, I uh, I'll make sure by August we should be good. Like I think being back on track should be good. Tell that them, sounds good. Unlike two, what, unlike I'll two players I know, make sure you get your Tuesdays cleared. <laughs> <I'll>, uh, <laughs> yeah. No one else allowed. I will be in your time zone, right, Bryce? Um, Kansas is in Central, so you're an hour. You'll be one hour behind me and two hours ahead of Ron. Okay. Yeah, me and me and Brian. Yeah. You know. Wait, what? Wait, what's, what time? Um, time you actually, you you and Chris will be in the same time zone. Oh, okay, okay. Chris is the guy that shows up once every three months. Yeah. <laughs> it's nine o'clock. You guys are at nine o'clock or ten o'clock. Yeah, it's ten o'clock for Brian and I, uh, and I guess it would be for Matt. And then it's nine o'clock right now for uh, Chris, and it would be in Kansas. Uh, and then you're, uh, it's seven o'clock your time, right? Yeah. See you, Brian. Yep. Take it. God bless, guys. Have a have a nice July. All right. Thank you. Man. You too. Right. Okay, that so, makes sense. Yeah. So. So now that Brian's left, you can split the XP two ways. Oh yeah, I forgot to do XP. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I am not not right. playing for That's, a month. Yeah. With no right. XP. Let me give you guys your XP right. real quick. Okay. I'm gonna go up a whole level. I'll give Brian his two, but. I, I, I will make it my mission over the month of July to help sure. Brian get a decent character sheet organized. Right, so me, Yeah, let me get some XP going here. All right, how many dudes did you guys kill? More, th more than I two. can count. We killed two outside. We killed a house. This was actually two here. Yeah. This was two. Oh, two and a three outside. Yeah. Three. Down to four. So. We killed the hopes and dreams of evil cultists oh, everywhere. Dude, man. I'll give you a little XP for exploring the the other area. So the more the
it's taking this long. I better get like over. I don't know. So I better jump up like, three levels. I'm keeping my mouth shut, my fingers crossed. <laughs> Fourteen hundred. Oh, God bless you. All right. <laughs> Uh, level level five. That was my goal before our break. Nice. XP. Okay. I think two more games, maybe one more. I'll be up. You'll be at six. Yeah, because we'd be four. Now you're five. Now. Yeah, I'm at five. Yeah, it, it's a big gap between five and six compared to. Man, yeah, because um, when he changed it to fourteen thousand. I was like, I went to three to four or like five pretty quick, and then that yeah. fourteen thousand came out of nowhere. Don't look. I know. Uh, so when you guys don't watch the, it's so funny. Like I reveal so much in the, you know, like. So you know how you 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 see sh shadowed maps, right? But mm -hmm. then when, when yeah. I when I upload it, you see the whole map because I'm showing the GM's view of the map. Yeah. So just be careful not to look. <laughs> Yeah, uh, no. I I don't want to know. I don't want anything revealed yeah. early if we can help. Uh, so so yeah, here. So sixty five hundred to get to level five, then level six. Double that would be thirteen thousand. Level six though is fourteen thousand. So it's more than double what you have total to go yeah. from five to six. That's a big jump. That's a big because right now I'm at twelve thousand seven hundred. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna so, find things that are. Anyway. Yeah, so I I say about like two more games on the safe side I should get there That's right. on, you know what <laughs> it's the journey okay it's, the, it's, the, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not, not the, the it's not the number it's the yeah it's how you get there <laughs> story man it's the be in the moment man yeah the moment. nah that's the spells that's all I care about <laughs> yeah the spells alrighty but I'll definitely um, yeah Rise I'll definitely stay in touch dude through it's, our email it's Reese and that's his Reese. character name and Brad is his real name <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, man. Hey, I'm, I'm real happy for you. Hope you have a great summer. Thank you, man. man that's like we, we know you'll do well here uh, this fall, too, so we'll be rooting Thank for you. Thank you. But, yeah, I'll for sure keep you updated. I'll give you a barbecue review. And whatnot. There you go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's been a long I'll time since I've had Arthur Bryant, so. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll talk, to you, uh, I'll talk to you guys about just messing around on Tuesday. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, if you have any ideas, then Brandon. Yeah, especially if Matt's still alive. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we'll just do No. So. All right, well, don't yeah. hold your breath, Chris. Maybe we'll run a, 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 an evil campaign where we go around killing pastors <laughs> <or something. laughs> on Tuesday nights. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hey, have a great night. All right. Man, man, I hope it gets better as well. Thanks. All right, see you guys. See you, Ron.